Well, just recently, the Excel team dropped 14 new functions on us. And I am not gonna cover them all at once because I don't see you all as a bunch of pelicans where I can open up the beak and just start dumping stuff in and then there you are. No, you're not a pelican. We're going to take this in a, a slow way. I'm going to show you a few of the functions. All right. I've had, I, I had to take some time to think about them. But there's one thing. Um, not since 1901 has there been so much put into Excel in one day. 14 functions all at once last week? No. The record was 10 in 1901 by the uh, Microsoft CEO, Cerilius J. Longfoot. Now, what happened, the Wright brothers, right? Kitty Hawk, Flying Machines, they rode a train from North Carolina to Seattle to go talk with Cerilius J. Longfoot. They got into his office, they all shook hands. I don't remember which brothers which, one had a mustache, the other one didn't. Nah, they came in and they complimented Cerilius J. Lightfoot. He had on some really nice suspenders that day. Ooh, boy, he was looking sharp. So the brothers sat down Cerilius says, gentlemen, gentlemen, so good to see you. Well, and I know you want to talk about those pivot tables and those functions that are coming in Excel. And, uh, you know, it's just after Christmas and I'm still feeling a little jovial. So how about you pay me the nice little sum of $750? How about that? The right brother with the mustache, he leaned over to his brother. He says, you go outside the office, stand by the door, don't let anybody in here until I come out. I don't care what you hear, don't let anybody in. Cerilius didn't understand what was going on. He didn't hear everything, but he knew it wasn't going so well. The right brother without the mustache, he took his bowler hat, stood up, saluted Cerilius, and he left and stood outside the door. The other right brother, he stood up went around the desk and he leaned really close. Look, we did not ride train for four days for fun or to play with you. We didn't come here for a shake down. Now, don't talk. Don't talk. Shh, shh, shh. I'm talking. It's going to take us four days to ride the train back to North Carolina. And when we get off the train, those functions, the pivot tape, better be in Excel and they all had better be working. You want a flying machine? The world wants a flying machine. We want to deliver it and we need those functions. Cerulius and the pivot tables.
get on that penny farthing bicycle that's out front. When you ride across the Microsoft campus and you tell the Excel team, have those functions and the pivot tables working in four days. You got me? Wait, you, you don't, don't, you don't have to talk. Don't, ha you don't have to talk. Cause I know your answer is yes. I know your answer is yes. I'm not playing. And while the right brother was standing over Cerilius, he put his fingers underneath his suspenders and pulled them and let them go. And see, that is an act of humiliation. It's an act of dominance. It's not violent, okay? But it sends the message. You can't go to the police and say, a man came in my office and stood over me and popped my suspenders. You can't go tell your family that. But the message got across. And three days later, Everything was in Excel. And Cerilius J. Longfoot went into history as a disgraced CEO. He was seedy. He was a seedy character. All right, here's what we're gonna do today. Look at this. We have eight shows, and each show had five performers. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time is how do we get this stuff in one column? We can take this into Power Query and unpivot. It's, it's really easy in Power Query, but then you got to refresh and there's all kind of stuff. But watch this. Uh, we've got CJ here. And then I go to Dorian. Oh, Dorian was in two shows, conditional formatting is showing this. Now, let's see up here, Abel, boom. Now, Abel had better be here. Look at this, there is Abel. That's what I'm gonna show you how to build. Here we go. We can very easily unwind this table but there's some trickery involved. Here, let's do this. Equals to call, to column. All right, here we go. Go over here. The array, all right. Close the parentheses and enter. Look at that. The whole thing is unwound. But we have these zeros in here. We've got the show six, show seven. We don't want that. Here are some things that we can do. Watch this. In the two call, I'm gonna hit comma and it gives us an ignore option. We want to ignore any blanks or errors. So I am gonna put a three and enter. Look at that. The zeros are gone. Now let me show you one thing here because we don't want that first column. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right here. Equals drop. Watch, all right. So I'm gonna highlight all of this and then comma Drop rows, no, we don't want to drop any rows, comma. We want to drop columns, specifically the first column. So one, open parentheses, I mean close parentheses, and then enter. Look at that. Now we do have the zeros there. I'm not gonna worry about that. I just wanted to show you that. Now watch what happens if I go up here and put a negative one. Hey, now it has gotten rid of the last column. 
what happens if I put negative three? It's gotten rid of the three columns starting from the end. Beautiful. We don't need this, but what we do need to do is go back up here. I'm going to get rid of the two call. Now I'm going to do equals drop open parentheses, copy that. All right. Comma. We don't want to drop a row comma drop the first column close parentheses enter. Now to wrap that in the two column to unwind this. Go all the way to the beginning to call open parentheses that drop array is our array. Comma three to ignore any blanks or errors. Close parentheses. Enter. Now we're all stacked up. No blanks. Now there are duplicates in here. Javed was in two shows. Dorian was in two shows. All right. So we have to get rid of any duplicates. Go back to the top here. Go right here. Unique. Open parentheses. Go to the end. Close parentheses. Enter. All right. Let's check this out equals count a and I want J4 hashtag to count everything in that range. So we've got 26, but how many are in the performance slots equals count a open parentheses. Enter 35 performers in the grid, 26 names with no repeats. Now to sort. Go up here. All right, there we go. Sort. Open parentheses. Go to the end. Close parentheses and enter. Look at that. If we add a name, performer five is. Denise, enter. Denise shows up. Everything updates. The thing is unwound. We didn't have to do anything more except add the name. Wow, this is beautiful. Now, a drop list. Go up here, B2. I'm in the data tab, data validation, data validation. I want a list. The source is going to be J4, but I would want to put J4 and the hashtag to refer to the entire dynamic range. There we go. OK, let's look. Boom. There is Dave. There is B. Now the conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight this whole thing. Home. Now I'm going to go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rules. Equal to. Light red field, dark red text. I am okay with that. But it needs to be equal to whatever is in B2. Okay. Look at that. Now, Dave and Javed, good. Now, let's test. I've got two other shows. Here we go. Paste them in here. All right. Slide them into the table. Ooh, look at that. Javed again. And now we've got Casey in here. We've got Delilah in here. So easy.
You gotta love this. I was hanging out with Sachi Nadella. Uh, we, you know, sometimes we get together, go play some roulette and stuff, you know, just hanging out. And we were at the roulette wheel a couple nights ago. And I asked him, what is the deal? Why 14 functions all at once? He said that it was a dream of his to beat the record of Cerulius J. Longford. And he did it. He broke a record that was over 121 years old. So, congratulations. But Satya also told me one thing that every Microsoft CEO has been passing down over these years. Don't let things get so far out of hand that somebody feels compelled to show up in your office and pop your suspenders.